Hi there, I wanted to talk about the Moon Knight Omnibus by Charlie Houston. This is the paperback edition of it. This is not the large, um, normal omnibus size edition with the hardcover. Marvel has started releasing lots more of the trade paperback um, omnibuses. Now, whether this is to replace complete collections or to complement them, or because they've noticed that you know people are collecting these books, they want a more affordable way to do it. Omnibus prices for Marvel have gone through the roof lately, and this is a much more affordable way to pick up those stories in a collected um, edition. Which is why I picked this up because I didn't want to pay nigh on seventy pounds for the full-sized omnibus. Uh, I wanted to read these stories, and I wanted something from my collection, and this fits the bill perfectly. Uh, we'll have a flip through it and see what we think of the story and the art and that and then we'll have a look at pricing at the end. Right then so we've got the Moon Knight Omnibus from Marvel. This is obviously the Charlie Houston uh, run on it and it is branded as an omnibus. It's not just a complete collection or anything like that. It is a omnibus. Uh, whether that's Marvel cashing in I don't know on the fact people like collecting omnibuses but you get a rundown on the back of what it collects which is Moon Knight 2006 1 to 13. Then you get the normal blurb on the inner page and some nice um, artwork leading you into the story. One thing to say about this book is it has got a really good quality print and the paper is thick. It's that kind of thick that when you're turning the pages you think to yourself, have I turned two or three by accident? Are they stuck together? Because you know it's unusual to get um, this this kind of quality of page in a book now um, but Marvel seem to have up their game in that respect so I've had a couple from them now where the, the pa paper in these trades is thick so that's a plus point and good for longevity and quality as well now the story sees Mark Spector Moon he's had his knees buggered they're totally smashed up um, from an altercation with Bushman an altercation where he ended up cutting off Bushman's face <laughs> as well and Konstu has left him and he sort of begs this uh, statue every night in his pit where he lives um, you know for assistance uh, and eventually something comes to him and gets him back on his feet and gets him back in the game um, what is funny is that even though he's so say spent months doing nothing just drinking and um, taking pills uh, he's shredded <laughs> because every, everyone in this book is shredded it's like gears of war where you know you can be starving you can be down on your luck but you you huge and shredded but i mean it's fine i like the chunky art i like the look of it all um i find it really fun and enjoyable to read um anyway you get altercations with taskmaster and as ever taskmaster is funny and you know, he, he uses his skills and you see that Moon Knight has got his, well, his bat cave it is basically the bat cave um, and he's got his uh, his helpers and he starts getting the team back together so it's the best way to put it now this isn't a book where I had any real previous history with it in the years leading up to it so whatever 2006 and before but you quickly get the gist of what is going on you don't need to have had that previous history with the book I'm sure if I knew more about the Moon Knight run just before this I may have got more enjoyment from certain storylines but I read it I had a great time it was a quick read it was a easy read and I really liked it and the thing with Moon Knight as I think I already mentioned in this video in the intro or the outro it um, Moon Knight is a character that gets reinvented every time a new creator gets in so a bit like daredevil in that this is your run on moon knight this is his big chunky violent era they do away essentially with the multiple personalities and they even take the piss out of it at the end uh, when there's a story about the hero registration act but look i hope you've had a look enjoyment of looking through the flip through uh, i've purposely kind of steered away from main plot points in the story where possible just so i don't ruin it but um Let's have a look at the pricing of that now. Okay, so that was the book. I say nice chunky art in there, the fun action story. They sort of ditch the multiple personalities thing and almost take the piss out of it at the end. But, you know, Moon Knight is a character where whoever gets it, we invent them immediately.
so whatever. A bit like Daredevil in that respect. Um, now, pricing, just throw it up on the screen, but it's around the £20 mark for this, uh, like £16 to £20. I think I paid £16 for this, uh, maybe well, £16 and a few pence. That's with postage included. Uh, but as ever, just watch your prices and see what see what comes in. Uh, you know, it's a uh, it's got nice thick paper. It, it's well worth the well worth the money. Uh, let me know what you think about this book. Did you even know Marvel was doing these um, trade paperback omnibuses now? Omnibuses now, um, and they do seem to be putting effort into their production. Uh, we'll see. I've got a Spider-Man and Deadpool one as well to have a look at uh, that we'll go over once I've finished reading it. Uh, please let me know what you think about that and. Thanks for watching.